Hey everybody, welcome back. My name's Joel. I'm Megan. And this is A Stable Life. Today's exciting guys. We're actually going on a horseback ride. We got some snow this morning. Most of it's melted, but I'm thinking we're gonna have some snow in the low-lying areas and in the, uh, the woods, so that'll be good. Uh, and today we're riding some special horses. Megan's gonna be on Spitfire. And I'm gonna be on Tucker, which is absolutely just crazy. But first things first, Megan, we forgot to turn the lights on in the stable. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so first things first, since we are grabbing our horses before feeding time, we're going to have to get them ourselves. So Megan, we're gonna need a halter and a lead rope. I don't know which one fire uses. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Megan. I don't actually know what halter he uses either, but it looks like, there you go. Lead rope and halter acquired. Oh no, hun. He's all the way down there. He's all the way down here. Guess we're gonna have to go for a walk, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, hello, Duke. Hello, Suede. Oh look, see, they're all coming up because it's close to feeding time. So they think it is feeding time. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Huh? What's up? You can tell this pasture doesn't get any sun right now. Yep. Snow's all staying here. During the winter, the sun sets behind that woods. This whole area stays cold. Whereas over there, you can see the sun is hit. No snow. Snow. Isn't that funny? Hey, Obi. Hey, buddy. You actually get a break today. I, hey, don't be trying to grab my fingers. Hey, fire. Hey, buddy. Hello. There you go, hon. Put it right on. Go. Yep, right on. Yep, right on. He's, he's making it easy for you. Over the years. Oh, you're a good boy, fire. You're going to hook it right here. Watch out, Obi. <laughs> Okay, and then you're gonna hook the lead rope down here. There you go. You got yourself a horse. You actually have two right now. I know. Hey, Obi. <laughs> What's up? It's a little slippery. Just a bit. But you got it. Looking good, hon. Okay, hon. Yeah. I'm gonna go get Tucker. You got this. Now we are pretty much here during feeding time, so. I'm thinking I could get this to work to my advantage. Open the gate, Tucker should go right up into his stall. I don't have to lead him in at all. Oh, my companion's here. I told you I'm here during feeding time. It's gonna be one interesting ride. I've never ridden a horse this big. This is pretty lit, guys. I absolutely love it. Look at this. Now that's a well-trained horse. That's right. Yeah, I know. You guys think that little cable will hold Tucker in? Yeah, I, I don't think so either. But I do think Tucker's not gonna test its limits because Tucker's a good horse. How's it going over here, honey? I couldn't get the blanket up on the <laughs> But you got it off him. All right. So some key areas that we wanna get when we're brushing are right along their backs. Uh, we wanna get their wither as it swales down in uh, to their back because this is where the saddle pad goes. And uh, if there's any dirt here, the saddle pad can rub on it and it could create uh, something that's itchy or eventually it could create a saddle sore when we're riding them. We don't want them to have any negative experience with us. So, so that's gonna involve brushing their backs, brushing underneath on their bellies. Hi. There you go, buddy. Thank you. I'm gonna go brush out Tucker quick, okay? I'm gonna let him eat. Okay. <laughs> now for anybody that rides horses, uh, you might do things a little differently. And that's perfectly okay. I don't claim to be a professional when it comes to riding horses. I have a lot of experience taking care of them, but uh, not as much when it comes to riding them. I've definitely ridden a lot, but I wouldn't say I'm the best horseback rider out there. That being said, and I know enough to uh, have them not hate me at the end of the ride. I've got a much Hey, hon, this isn't fair. I got a much bigger canvas I got to paint than you. So we're just going to get his back. You can see all that, that dirt that's coming off him. Now, there are actually different kinds of brushes. Uh, there are softer brushes and harder brushes, depending on your horse. And you want to change how you brush your horse, depending on the kind of brush that you have. Uh, the reason being, if you have a brush that has harder thistles on it and you're pushing down really hard, uh, you could actually start to scratch their skin. Obviously, that's not comfortable. So when you, whenever you're around them and you're about to ride them, especially before, and they don't know you that well, they're going to size you up. Now, Tucker knows me because I feed him. 
and he already respects and likes me on the ground. Uh, first time riding him, though. I've never ridden him before today, so we'll see how this goes. You really got to make sure you get under here, because this is where the girth on the saddle goes. Obviously, anything underneath that would rub on him and create discomfort. And you want them to have a good experience with you. Not a bad one. All right, I'll get the saddle pad on for you. Oh, Now, all of these horses obviously are gentled, so... They're all set their correct way. Now, Fire is very particular about his riders, but he does like Megan. So, Megan got it up here. I'm just going to adjust it so that it's comfortable for Fire. Megan's running a 15-inch saddle for anyone that's curious. Meanwhile, I'm running a 19 over here. So, <laughs> And uh, for anyone that, that uh, rides horses, you're going to be quite familiar. But uh, for those that don't, I'll give you a quick little lesson. So, this is pretty neat. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is we're going to fashion on uh, what's actually called the girth. So this is the girth, goes under, uh, right under the belly and holds on like this. And then you're gonna take this strap and then you're gonna take this and you're gonna actually tie a special knot, put it right through like that. And we're gonna take the slack out of it. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of loose here that we need to get rid of. So we're gonna take it up and we're gonna put it back in and we're gonna double up our strap. It's a good way of getting rid of a lot of this material. So we'll take it back through. All right, so if you're using a synthetic strap, uh, then uh, they actually make different hooks and things like that to make this very easy that you don't have to tie, uh, double this up. But we're going old fashioned. So if you see here, what I'm doing is I'm tightening this down here, which tightens the whole unit, but you don't want it so tight in the stall. So see how I can fit my whole hand in here? Some horses may actually bite you or kick you at this point uh, if you tighten it up too hard. Fire is an excellent horse, so we're going to reward him for that. We'll tighten this right before we get on. So now we're going to put our knot. You're going to go in the top, and you're going to go down to the left. Pull it across. Then you're going to swing it over. Bottom right, going up to the top left. Right through. Oh no! Your fingers are trapped. That's exactly what we want. And then you're going to put it right down through. And then you're gonna go ahead and just pull it tight. And that's your, your good old leather knot for tying a saddle. Put that down low, your stirrups are adjusted. So all she has to do now is put her bridle on, which we'll do that next. All right, so this is Spitfire's bridle. Uh, each of our horses have their own bridle. And you can tell Spitfire, he's actually a retired gaming horse. So he's, he's quite familiar with this. All right, buddy, open up. There you go, good boy. Get that in. Left ear. And then this is just to be pretty, so we'll put that over his right ear. It's as simple as that. You take your reins and they hook on right down here. You can actually hear the horses coming in right now. <laughs> so this is called a breast collar. The way this goes is this hooks on, just like that. And then hooks on on the other side and then it actually hooks on the girth down here now what that does is when your horse is accelerating extremely fast this actually prevents your saddle from sliding back or when you're going up steep steep slopes prevents that from sliding back we got tucker all kitted out boy does he look good he's huge i'm looking forward to getting on him looks like we've got 340 we're going to be back in the dark again <laughs> That's just how these rides always go with the sun setting so low. All right, we weren't able to film me getting on him. Uh, we had to do a special little thing. Uh, we're training him for his owner. So that way he will walk over to that little area and his owner can climb up the stairs. He'll wait and then his owner can climb on him. Uh, but she actually did very well. So that was good. Uh, currently Megan's getting on. My mom's helping her just because it requires someone to hold the horse. Ooh. There you go. Looking good, hon. Looking good. This will give me an opportunity to tell everybody. This is my first time riding Tucker. He has never been out on any of our trails before. I will record what I can. Um, it's just Megan and I, so I won't be able to get any footage of us from the ground. So I'll uh, I'll do my best and uh, get what I can from uh, on the back of Tucker. Quite beautiful up here, I must, I must say. Nice saddle, by the way, Kevin. It's comfy. <laughs> So our path starts off right after we leave the farm. There's this little trail that's between the uh, cow pasture. We got a picture. I'm gonna have my mom send it to me. It's kind of funny because it genuinely looks like 
Spitfire is a pony compared to Tucker. But uh, this is his first time ever on these trails, so we're going slow. We're only doing a walking ride. He's also very clumsy. I think I've mentioned that already, but he's slipped and whatnot a couple times, so I need to focus on making sure he's got rain and that uh, he doesn't go where it's really slippery. Also, Leia's with us. Yeah, she loves going on the horseback rides with us. This gives you a good shot of the, uh, the countryside here. We'll be following these trails for a little bit, checking in, and I'm thinking we're gonna get a pretty wild sunset. How you doing back there, babe? I'm good. Awesome, how's Spitfire? He's good. Your horse is tripping a lot more than mine, though. Yeah, rub it in. Uh, Tucker just came across ice for the first time. He uh, stepped on it, it cracked, and he was like, uh-uh, nope, not not going over that. No way, no how. So uh, Megan had to get around me and then uh, walk Spitfire over it. And Spitfire was completely good. And then once Tucker saw that uh, Spitfire made it completely fine, uh, Tucker followed suit. We're coming up on a nice little stream. I'll just, uh, I'll stop talking and let you guys take in the sights and sounds. Megan has taken the lead now. I can't believe this. We're over near where we park our farm equipment and we're on the far end of the cow pasture now. You can actually see the uh, the back of the cow barn as well as with the horse barn. And I actually see my mom watching this right now. And then right up here is gonna be the end of the cow pasture and then we'll be at the back of the horse pasture. There's the hay wagons, the hay elevator. One day we'll have a barn to put all that in. That'll be nice. It's beautiful out. I love doing doing evening rides. Just beautiful. All right, well, this is just honestly beautiful. I'm just gonna take some clips here. I'll talk to you unless something happens. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. There's a lot of deer tracks, that's for sure. <laughs> Guys, I retook the lead. Carefully and slowly. Down we go. That's it. Easy done. That a boy. Good boy, Tucker. Good boy. Nice. Good job. How you doing, honey? Good. Definitely noticeably cooler down here. That's it, buddy. Good job. Easy does it. Easy does it. Just gonna walk through the ice. I, I, I dig it. <laughs> yeah, he's not scared of the ice anymore, that's for sure. We're down in the woods, it's looking good. A little cooler down here, but Tucker's doing well. He's not scared of ice anymore. He just hasn't been trail ridden in a very, very long time, I can tell. And this is his first time and he's doing fantastic. It's super happy to see, that's for sure. Isn't that neat? I don't know if anyone's ever seen that. We see it all the time here. That's why you gotta be careful about having shallow roots, guys. If your roots are too shallow, when a big storm comes over, that'll knock you right over. What happened? I don't know, what happened? What happened, Megan? How come I'm in front now? Because you told me to turn after I passed the turn. Works every time. Is that on purpose? No. Honey, I would never. What are you talking about on purpose? Rude. Oh, oh there we go. That's it, let's go over towards the creek, buddy. Right over this log. Good boy, to the right. This is a section where the river splits. Goes from one into three different streams. And uh, in one of my videos, my other horseback ride video, uh, there's a section where I talk about a, uh, a paddle boat. It's, this is the exact area, but I can't even see it, so I doubt you'll be able to see it. How are you doing down there? <laughs> I mean, look at how, for anybody that thinks Tucker's not big, this is this is the best way I could explain to you. She's on or her on Spitfire. He is a normal sized appendix quarter horse. Leia, get the bag. Leia, get the bag. Where's the bag? Go get it. Yeah, she sees it too. All right, we are coming up on a shallow, shallow puddle. It's got some light ice on it. Let's see how he does crossing the stream. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Did you see Leia run across the ice? <laughs> Turn right. There you go, buddy. That's it, right this way. Okay, we have hit our first stream. Let's see how Tucker does. Maybe seeing fire go through, it'll help him. That's it. Good boy, there you go. Huh? See that, Tucker? That ain't bad. Good boy. Good stuff. This is what I like to see. Alrighty, we're now coming up on the what we call the cliff path, and it's we call it that because it's a path 
it's on the side of a cliff and then uh, to the right of us is actually a beautiful creek Tucker likes to live on the edge, that's for sure. Dusk really is my favorite time of day. So peaceful. We have made it to where our round bales are. We're uh, we're starting to head home now. The we're going to be losing daylight. I think we've only got about another 20 minutes of daylight before it's all gone. So, and there's the horse bales. Someone stole a horse bale, hun. Looking good, looking good. You can tell it's starting to get a little dark. We just got to go through a little section of woods and then back up and out. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to continue on through and I will see you guys once we get back to the stable all right I know you guys can't see me right now but we are back at the horse stable bleeding Tucker in right now Tucker is tuckered out let me tell you I think that was more work than he was anticipating that's for sure we're gonna get Tucker cooled down we're gonna give him a little bit of treats and we're gonna get his blanket put on him and then uh, turn him out and he's gonna get to chill for the night so things went well we had absolutely no issues He thinks you got treats. All right, Tucker, are you ready? I'll let you out too, buddy. There you go, buddy. All right, well, that was fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's always nice not having any problems. My feet are freezing. <laughs> yeah, you wanna go home and have some hot cocoa? Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. And guys, I think it's on that note that we're going to be ending the video for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed going on the ride with us. It was super fun to have you guys along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next one.